Hello, my dear students. Uh, let's start our English lesson. I remind you that we work with unit one, which is called Can Live Without Eat. And on the previous lesson, we worked with the text, which is called 1986, A Year Without Technology. And today, our task is to work with grammar, tense review, present simple and continuous stative verbs. If you have a book, open it on page six. If you don't have a book, just look at my screen and work together. In our book, we have got some grammar reference and let's start with it. Just a moment. Uh, the first tense for revision is present simple. When do we use present simple to talk about general truths and facts, current habits, how often things happen, permanent situations and states? For example, the moon goes around the earth. I drive to work. Jen goes on holiday twice a year. We live in Portugal. I love your hair. Let's look at these sentences. In number one and number three, we added ending ES. Because if the subject is he, she, it, in present simple, we should add ending S, E, S, I, E, S. If the subject is I, you, we, they, we don't add the ending. If we want to ask or make negative sentence for he, she, it, we use auxiliary verb does in questions and doesn't in negative. If the subject is I, you, we, they, we use auxiliary verb do for questions and don't for negative sentences. We form the emphatic present simple with do and does. Yes, it's true. Sophie does have a dog. The next tense for revision is present continuous. We use it to talk about actions happening now, temporary situations, changing and developing situations, temporary series, series of actions, and annoying habits plus always. For example, I'm not enjoying this show. Where are you living at the moment? Technology is becoming more important. I'm driving Harry to work this week. You're always interrupting me. Hmm. How do we form affirmative sentences in present continuous? We should put subject on the first place, then one of the forms of B, I am, he, she, it, is, you, they, are, and add ending ing. So, if you want to make a question, we put M is A on the first place, then subject and verb with ending ing. If you want to make a negative sentence, we just add not after B. Isn't, aren't, but remember, we can say amount. There is no form amount in English. We should say M, not. So, the tense review was for present simple and present continuous. And what about stative verbs used to refer to states rather than actions? Stative verbs include verbs about thinking, believe, know, think, existence, be, exist. Emotions, love, like, hate, human senses, hear, see, smell, appearance, appear, look, see, and possession of relationships between things. 
belong to, have, and include. Some verbs can refer to either states or actions, but their meanings changes. Their meaning changes. Feel, have, imagine, look, see, smell, think, and taste. For example, can you see that play over there? State. And are you seeing Lucas this weekend? Action. And now let's practice. Let's come back to page six in our books. And the first exercise. Is with the task to choose the correct word or phrase. If you have a book, please take your pen or a pencil and just make your choice in your books. If you don't have, just look at my screen. Remember the rules for present simple and present continuous and be attentive. Right now, I TV with my brother. Now, so am watching. I remind you that in present simple we put M is R after the subject and add ending ing. Do you agree that people on technology too much these days? Do you so it's present simple rely on? How often? Uh, microblogging uh, services like Twitter. Do you see or are you using its regular action? So do you use the next gadgets more and more a part of everyday life? Are becoming because uh, in this sentence, we use present continuous. And look at word becoming. We drop E and add ending ing. I am going to add one more rule to our lesson, uh, which illustrates the adding ending ing. There are five rules, and uh, you can find them attached to this lesson. Number five. Do you have or are you having satellite TV at home? We speak about general actions, so do you have present simple? I don't post or I'm not posting to Facebook as much as my friend do. General action, present simple. I remind you that we use don't will are you these days? Number seven. I'm sure your parents have or are having good reason for limiting your use of technology. Think just a moment. Five. Eight. Use or I am using this phone while my, while my smartphone is being repaired. I'm using at the moment. And the same situation as in, in sentence number four. In verb use, we drop E and add ing. The next exercise is exercise two. Complete the dialogue with the correct form of the verbs in the box. Use con contractions where possible. We have got verbs call, come, get, have bought, look, not joke, queue, стоят в черзі або черга, queue, sell, stand, and want. I give you some time to read this dialogue. Think for a while, and then we'll do it together. Start, please. Wow. 
12. Number 1. It's me, Oscar. Listen, I am calling you from town. So don't forget to use the correct form of the verbs in the box. I remind you that we work with present simple and present continuous today. Number two, I am standing outside phone land and they have got the new Samsung in the shop. I seriously am not joking. Look at this form, am not. Remember, we can say am and no, really? Wow. What it like? What does it look like? Really cool. And they and they are selling really fast. I mean people а queuing, queuing, стоять у черзі. Дивіться, тут нічого не викидаємо. Queuing, round the block to get one. Everyone wants one. Окей, okay, I am getting now and I and coming down there to meet you. Look at this verb, getting the double letter T according to the rule. And in coming, we drop letter E, silent letter E. In this exercise, you see how to mix present simple and present continuous. And the last exercise for this topic is exercise three. Find and correct eight mistakes with tenses in the text. One hour a day. Posted at quarter to seven on the 17th of September. I am owning quite a new gadget, a smartphone, a games console, a tablet and others. My parents are thinking that I spent a bit too long on them at the moment. Now I am having one hour of screen time a day during the week and two a day at weekends. I am choosing what I want to spend time on. But when the time has been up, my parents are switching all devices off. I am supposing I do spend quite a bit of time on them, so I decided to give it a go. Wish me luck, it's, it isn't going to be easy. So the first mistake is I own general action, regular action. So I own Yavodin. The next my parents think that I am spending. They think regularly because I'm spending at the moment. Now I have one hour in general now, nowadays, because during the week, the next, I choose what I want to spend the time on, the next, but when the time is up and my parents switch all devices off. Regular action. I suppose, and it was the last mistake. Let's sum it up. 
In this exercise, we could see how to mix present simple and present continuous in one text. I remind you that we have got rules on page 148, and these rules are attached to this lesson, and the rules uh, about ending, the ending ing also are attached to this lesson. Um, during the second one, we are going to practice more and do exercises online. So go to classroom and practice more. So see you the next lesson online.